Hello guys and welcome to my top 6 of the best beaches in my favorite country of all time, the Philippines. The Philippines consists of more than 7,000 islands. Even though we only visit a very small amount of them, I will still try to give you my top 6 of the best beaches we were able to visit. Let's get through it. Number 6, the beach at Malapascua. Malapascua is a small island with a white sand beach surrounding the whole island. It is really an impressive place and you can expect some of the most beautiful blue water and white sand beaches. Malapascua is an awesome place to spend a few days. It is very down to earth and relaxing with a few high-end hotels, but it's possible to find cheap hostels here as well. But to be honest, there's not much else to do at Malapascua than to relax on the beach and chill out in the blue water that surrounds Malapascua. Besides from one activity that Malapascua is world known for. Malapascua is the only place in the world where you can buy guaranteed dive with a treasure shark. So if you like diving and just want to hang out by the beach, Malapascua might be the right destination for you. Heading to number 5, Paradise Beach at Catlao Island. This place is cool, very cool. If it wasn't so highly accessible, it would definitely be found high on my top 6. The only way you can reach it is by the Daily Island hopping to a D, leaving Alito in the morning, or by what we did, renting a kayak from El Nido Town proper and go for the exhausting kayaking trip to the nearest island. The beach itself is basically what you think of if I say paradise. It is the most beautiful white powdery sand and crystal clear water. It is even an amazing place for snorkeling as the coral reef start just off the coast. Paradise Beach and Catlao Island itself is definitely a must see if you are staying in the El Nido area. Everyone in the world would be amazed of Paradise Beach and its surroundings. Number 4 Hidden Beach at Matchinlock Island For number 4 we will stay in the El Nido area. Just a short boat ride southwest from Paradise Beach and guys I said boat ride, do not try to go here by kayak. It is too far and you will probably end up trying to hitchhike from your kayak, it is not a good idea. <laughs> by the way, Hidden Beach is easily one of the most scenic beaches in the Philippines. The name Hidden is because the beach itself can't be seen from the ocean. This place is surrounded by limestone cliffs and the entrance along the limestone cliffs is so shallow that you can't even sail all the way to the beach, you have to walk. The beach itself isn't why Hidden Beach is at my number 4 of the best beaches. It is not the best, but we are talking Philippine standard here, so the bar has been set really high. Even though Hidden Beach is beaten at the quality of the beach itself, the surroundings makes it all worth it. Number 3, Alona Beach at Bohol Island. Alright guys, we have reached number 3. Halfway through the list we will found this little pearl. Alona Beach reminds me a little bit more of one of Thailand's beaches where it is possible to find great nightlife as well. Restaurants down by the water and fire shows lightening up the sky when the evening starts. The water at Alona Beach is so beautiful blue and the sand is just white dust. Actually, our hotel staff asked us not to bring the handed towels to the beach because the sand is so fine it is not possible to wash out of the towels. Alona is located at the island of Bohol and Bohol Island itself is definitely worth checking out, making Bohol an ideal travel destination for you and your family. Number 2 Nakpan at Palawan I actually had a hard time deciding if Nakpan should be number 1 or 2 because Nakpan is one of those beaches it is really special. I have never seen something like this place. Nakpan is also called Twin Beach because you have this awesome beach at one of the sides. Then it is cut off by a small green area with palms and on the other side you have a new crazy looking beach. From my drone it really looks spectacular. Then you have got this awesome powdery sand that's just iconic for all the beaches in the Philippines. Nakpan is pretty hardly accessible. You have to drive more kilometers down this terrible dirt road and you even have to pay an entrance fee. Basically that's why I choose Nakpan to be downgraded to the second place. And the first place goes to, drum roll please, White Island at Kamigin. The 40 minutes we spent at this place is the most clear memory I have got from a 6 months travel in Southeast Asia. It is crazy hardly accessible. The weather wasn't the best, but this place just made me totally forget about everything else. We hired a private boat from the island of Kamigin to take us about 10 minutes of sailing into the ocean and we reached this awesome place. The whole experience was so surreal and after reaching this crazy stretch of land that I will describe as a sandbar, we were met by the most scenic view ever. Looking into Kamigin Island, which is filled by volcanoes, was extraordinary. Not to talk about White Island itself, again, white powdery sand and blue water. White Island would definitely take your Instagram feed to a whole other level. What's so nice about this place is that there is almost no people here. Going early in the morning and you'll probably be able to have this place completely to yourself. It is 
the most beautiful place in the world, guys, hands down. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, please click the subscribe button to be notified when the next video is coming up. I promise you that it will be a lot more of awesome content coming up in the near future.